The PlayStation Classic continues to be one awesome little emulation device with all the systems we could play on it, adding more PlayStation games. It has been a ton of fun with all the hacking and modding that we have done. Check out my playlist on PlayStation Classic stuff if you want to get up to date. But today we have a really special one for you that I think is going to be really awesome to a lot of people. And that is a brand new drag and drop plug and play retro boot build has a ton of systems on this thing over 7,500 games. That is nuts. So we're going to take a look, see a few things, test out a few systems, let you guys see how this works because some of the systems that you may think there would be issues with have been tested and they work just fine. So I'm not going to go through every single game, but a lot of these systems are going to have like the complete library of games, plus, you know, some stuff from Europe and Japan and whatnot. So we do have Atari 2600, 7800, Atari Lynx, love the Lynx, uh, FBA, Final Burn Alpha, which is going to be our Neo Geo games, pretty awesome, MAME, a lot of arcade goodness there, PC Engine Turbo Graphics, there's a ton of games on that, PC Engine CD, Turbo Graphics CD, uh, Super Graphics, the five games that were released for that. Uh, Game Boy Advance, always love to see Game Boy Advance on these things. There was a ton of awesome games for it. Same thing with Game Boy Color and Game Boy. You're getting probably a couple thousand games just between those three systems. And then the one that a lot of people are extremely excited for, and we just did a video, a little tutorial on how you can get Nintendo DS added to your, your PlayStation Classic, but there's a ton of games on this as well. We're going to check that out in a moment. NES, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy. Got to give that Virtual Boy a little love. 32X, I believe there's 36 games for that. Dreamcast, nice little handful of games that have been tested. Uh, these all work fabulously well. Fabulous. We'll check out one of those in a second. Game Gear, there's a ton of games on Game Gear. And I like how this does have the the little box art screenshot type stuff for these systems, you know, keeping you, you know, visually stimulated, seeing what's going on. <laughs> and then we got Master System. I uh, love that. Genesis or Mega Drive, tons of games there. Sega CD, Mega CD, pretty cool stuff. These play amazingly well as well. SG-1000, always love seeing SG-1000 because it wasn't a system I ever played. Uh, but there's tons of cool games for this system that you can check out. Kind of think, you know, it, it was before the Master System, uh, but there's there's a lot of cool stuff there. Neo Geo Pocket Color, the one I always I always have to say, Match of the Millennium. I don't care. Two-button fighting game, this game is legit. Definitely check it out if you've never played it before. Neo Geo Pocket, PSP, that PlayStation Portable with a lot of awesomeness here as well. We'll take a look at a game or two on that in a second. And then the original PlayStation. So we do have the included games from the PlayStation Classic on here. And then also Ape Escape has been added. Pretty cool stuff. So you might be like, well, Ape Escape, that uses analog sticks. Well, you can have this set up to use like a DualShock 4 controller uh, or a few other different controllers that have an analog stick on it and get them to work within the PlayStation Classic on Retro Boot. So Ape Escape is definitely playable. Not so much with, you know, a, a, a standard PlayStation Classic controller. Uh, so this build is kind of, you know, you know, you could either use a controller with analogs or stick with this and just, you know, deal with it, right? Just don't play Ape Escape, I guess. Never really played too much Ape Escape, but let's jump into a couple things and Check out the performance. So I think Dreamcast would be pretty cool. Let's take a look at uh, man, Daytona USA. Cannon Spike is, is really an awesome game. Aqua GT, Power Stone, Fantasy Star Online version 2. Love that. Sunk so many hours into that game. But let's jump in the Power Stone. So all these systems have bezels, which looks really nice, maintaining the original aspect ratio of the system. Pretty cool stuff. If you really want to disable uh, bezels, you can. If you want to stretch the screen out, you can. There are options to do all that stuff. But hey, I think it looks good the way it is. So it's it's really been a lot of fun checking out these builds, and I think this one is pretty sweet. Uh, it's 120. It's for 128 gigabyte, you know, drive, but it actually comes in, I think, a little under 90 gigabytes. So obviously. 
you would have to use the 128 gigabyte drive for this one but let's check this out this is looking crisp crispy here the arcade i'm not too good at this game but we're gonna we're gonna check it out let's see very bright visually appealing game love this game not great at it but i love it man the dreamcast has so many man that's the thing the dreamcast had so many awesome fighting games you had to have a dreamcast arcade stick there is no way the original controller was very good for fighting games i remember playing street fighter 3 and back in the day on my dreamcast i was like man i have to get an arcade stick the dreamcast controller man was like really to me sure there was some innovations with like the vmu thing that was pretty cool you know having that having a rumble pack all that good stuff you know it was kind of a step right but in some regards it was a really big step back for sega controllers that's my opinion you don't have to agree with me but man having six face buttons on a dreamcast controller on a sega genesis controller not a dreamcast a, a, a sega saturn controller my god man i'm not even there's no way i could beat this guy i'm getting my ass handed to me uh. well regardless you see that this performs great let's go ahead and exit out of that and check something else out uh so that you hit select and start brings up the menu press circle to back out so we'll we'll take a look at something else probably psp would be pretty cool so all right we got ape escape on the psp as well definitely i would recommend uh having a analog controller for psp a lot of these games will be fine without it but i think like daxter ape escape maybe uh some of these games you might need that or you might have to readjust your control scheme but let's check out castlevania why not i think this is pretty cool with the bezel for psp <laughs> looks really sweet uh let's see looks like you just got a a, a big ass PSP on your screen, right? So here we go. Let's let's jump into this, see how this performs. A lot of cool games on the PSP, and I think there's a nice little chunk of them um, on this build. So that is really cool. And it fits. PlayStation. PSP. Why the hell not, right? Oh, I already started. I already started a game. My my infamous uh, username CAC. Let's let's jump into it. There we go. Stage zero. Prologue. Look at that. Performing fairly well, I think. Let's jump into it. Let's, let's, come on, let's, let's skip this nonsense. We just want to see this working. Huh. Oops. I'm like looking at my recording screen. I'm not actually looking at my monitor, so. Ah, yeah. No excuses, though. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace out, mofo. <laughs> I just want to get into the first stage real quick. See how this runs. Dinner of flames. Let's eat up. Nice. So yeah, I think a lot of people are really going to appreciate a build like this. Um, and I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. Well, where, where is it? Where's it at? You know what I'm saying? You guys got to know, man. Hit up that Facebook group. Links in the description for more help. Questions answered on things. No. Fitting girl for Count Dracula. Now come to me. No. Never submit. Shut up. All right. Let's. Uh, <laughs> PSP's running pretty good. Let's just get out of there. Check something else out before we go. So let's get out of that. What else would be kind of cool? Uh, let's let's take a look at uh, Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Why not? That's a pretty fun game, I think. I don't know. I just I dig looking at these, uh, checking out these CD based games. I think they're pretty cool. Let's go. What did we do here? All right. But, you know, I, I know with the announcement of the uh, Raspberry Pi 4, a lot of people are really hyped up for that. I am as well. Can't wait to see what kind of projects we could do with that. Uh, you know, 
we are going to have to wait for RetroPie to be properly ported over to it because it doesn't work right now. But we are definitely going to be keeping tabs on that kind of stuff on the emulation front. Look at this. This is looking crispy right here. Digging it. But yeah, we're, we've got the, uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 coming in. Uh, we should have one in a few days, I want to say. Pretty damn soon. Can't wait to really dig into that and see what we could do. I'm, I'm really excited for it. That's, you know, for single board computers, those of us who are really into the Raspberry Pi with all the improvements on this thing, definitely going to be legit. So definitely can't wait for that. Uh-oh. Let's get it. So as you see, uh, oh crap. Sega CD is performing well. So I mean, for a system that costs around 30 bucks now, and all you have to do is get like a $20 USB drive, this thing is pretty amazing. So I almost forgot, but with the magic of editing, we're going to take a quick look at what is included with the Nintendo DS on this build. So there's a ton of games here. A lot of the classics are represented. Really cool stuff. All the Final Fantasies, the Kirby's, the Mega Man's are like crazy on the DS. There was a ton of them. All the Mario stuff. There's a lot of cool things on this build. So before we jump back into what I had already recorded. Let's just jump into one game real quick like. But if you want to know more about running Nintendo DS on your PlayStation Classic, take a look at my previous video on how to add Nintendo DS to your build. I'll have a link in the description. Also take a look at my playlist. But yeah, here we go. So, you know, like setting up your controls, all that good stuff. Uh, touch screen goodness. Uh, take a look at that. But let's just let's try to get into this. Single player. And yeah, you can you can uh, change the screens around if you need to. This one's kind of like <laughs> where I think this game, yeah, it, it was meant to to be vertical. So there we go. Now, now it's looking pretty good. So I guess some games you may have to kind of, kind of look at that and see how to set up your your orientation. With a game like this, yeah, you you probably are gonna want to have it set up like this in order to play it properly to see where your bullets are flying, see what's coming at you, that kind of goodness. But all right, Nintendo DS works great. We already know that. So we're gonna go ahead and go right back into the video. I know some people don't really care about the retro boot, retro art stuff, how it looks. But to me, I, I think it's fine, especially with this, with how we have uh, all the box arts and all that good stuff. Why not check out a, a, a Virtual Boy game before we go, right? Huh. Let's see what that looks like. But we, we've got a lot of stuff coming up this week, so stay tuned. Just wanted to get this one out of the way share it with you guys because I thought it was a pretty awesome build that's like it's probably the biggest emulation build as far as systems and games go that I have seen so far that's available out there so so that's definitely pretty cool you know virtual boy it's always an interesting thing emulating virtual boy and because it was really you know that that 3d look that multiple plane look that made this kind of unique and just playing it like this is just kind of like whatever. I mean, it's interesting. Don't get me wrong. Like imagine that coming right at your face. Oh, snap. But this, you know, black and red, ugh. And it's just straight black and red. It's not like you have a t like several different shades. It's just red with black, nothing else. <laughs> you it's like you don't really have like light red and dark red. It's just kind of like red with black intermingled into it <laughs> so Just red with with a little a little, you know some black shade, I guess um, But yeah, this this was not much of a 
I don't know, a Marvel? I mean, I know it's got its following, man. But I couldn't see being deeply into this. I owned a Virtual Boy for a while. I wound up selling it, but hey, screw it. Yeah, I can't. This, 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 this red is not doing it for me, guys. So there you go. Just wanted to play a little bit, check some things out, see how it runs. Uh, you know, tons of systems here. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, two, six, two, two, 23, two, four, two, five, 26, like 25, 26. I, I skipped something there. My bad, but pretty awesome. Really do appreciate you guys. It's, it's been fun. It's, it's been a lot of fun. So tomorrow we've got some other stuff coming up. Uh, Samurai Showdown's coming out. Yes. Can't wait. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.